I'm Scott Thompson and from Two Works For You, here are the afternoon's top stories. Residents in Mays County are cleaning up after a tornado ripped through their area. One family in Mays, he says they lost their barn, but thankfully everyone was able to stay safe in a bathroom storm shelter. Crews will be looking at the damage later today. Today, we could learn more details on a brazen murder of a Bartlesville man. This happened yesterday morning on Martin Place near East Tuxedo Boulevard. Bartlesville police say the victim was confronting several people who were trying to break into unlocked cars when he was shot to death. Police are asking folks in the area to check their surveillance systems for videos of the incident. So far, no suspects have been arrested. In Tulsa police are able to nab two men who led them on a chase. Overnight, officers were called to a car break in near 21st and Yale. They caught one of the suspects there. The other two drove off, hitting another car near Highway 11 in Sheridan as they went. Tulsa police used stop sticks and the suspect's truck eventually stopped near the Gilcrease and Keystone Expressways. Let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Kirsten Lang. Good morning, good afternoon. Now, as we take a look outside, we're going to be looking for showers and storms to move out of the area that we saw yesterday. And now that cooler, more dry air filtering in, feeling a lot better here across the area. Now, on our future track goes through the day. We are going to be seeing some clouds, though. Temperatures are going to get up into the 80s this afternoon. Low to mid 80s expected for us here. 84 in Tulsa, 80 in Grove and Coffeyville, And then overnight, continuing partly cloudy skies with a few clouds still lingering up to the northeast and lows dropping into the low to mid 60s. So as for uh, the rest of the day, our temps are going to be slowly warming up into the low 80s. 84 is that expected high this afternoon. Again, less humidity across the area. Tomorrow is still staying dry. Increased chance for some showers and storms possible Wednesday afternoon and evening. And then we warm up as we head into Friday through the weekend.